Let's be honest, no one can truly grasp how immense the size of our skies are when we are staring at the vast universe. The North Star is 431 light years, whereas the Andromeda Galaxy is 2.6 million light years away from the Earth. We're merely discussing the scenery in our cosmic backyard. However, our universe looks to be a totally different and considerably darker place when viewed from the Beotes Void. Stay till the end to find out about the brand new perspective on the structure of the universe. Welcome to our channel where we provide you with facts related to space and technology. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. If you thought space is amazing and do not have any terrible locales, think again. A lot of gas giants have been discovered, such as Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter that are exceeding with air 500 miles per hour and include black holes themselves. However, these heavenly objects have properties that make them interesting. Scientists have discovered a gap in space that is essentially nothing but nothingness, one that spans millions of light years and defies all logic. Imagine a location that is essentially nothing but a cavity, a vast expanse of empty space that has traveled millions of years. This gap was discovered by scientists and it defies all reasoning. In 1981, Robert Kirshner and other astronomers at the University of Michigan were working on redshifts, which are wavelength changes that cause light to appear to be moving towards the red portion of the spectrum. They were calculating the redshifts of a large number of galaxies. These redshifts are the measure of how quickly a substance is moving away from Earth. Our universe is expanding because of this phenomenon. The quicker the substance moves away tells how farther away the galaxy is. Robert Kirshner designed a 3D map of the universe. Kirshner and his team used his technique in order to create a 3D map of the universe. Something very strange emerged at a distance of 700 million light years from Earth as the map was being exhibited. It was an empty blank space in a globular region that was about 330 million light years extensive. To make you understand more clearly, let's suppose that the Milky Way could fit into this space a trillion times. There were also very few galaxies in this region. Initially, the region was known as the Great Nothing, as it appeared to be in the cluster of Beotes. It later earned the name Beotes Void. 41 years later, surveys have succeeded in producing more accurate and detailed maps of the universe. We now know that the arrangement of galaxies is in the form of a huge network. Most galaxies in our cosmos are found in lengthy structures such as strings that extend out through space. When these strings meet, they form a neighborhood with high agglomeration of galaxies known as clusters. However, in between these filaments, there are vast empty spaces with quite a few galaxies. The astonishing fact that the blank space aka void forms about 80% of the universe which is observable, which are mostly between 30 and 300 million light years beyond. Beotes is one of the biggest and is known as a super void. The Beotes is believed to be the result of smaller voids coming together. The reality is very weird, but it's true that there's not a dicky bird than something you understand what I mean. But what actually causes this to happen? It is believed that the universe's origin is what caused these gaps. In the beginning, it was thought that the entire universe was densely packed with matter. This is thought to have been a uniform soup but with irregular quantum fluctuations. In a moment, minute changes in the distribution of matter appeared. Our accepted theory of the origins of the cosmos is being challenged by the mystery surrounding the Beotes Void's very existence. Certain areas that were a bit denser than others are being tracked down, which meant that they had a stronger gravitational pull, which caused them to draw matter from the less dense regions, making them even heavier. If they increase their gravitational pull, this will help them attract more matter, and vice versa. At the moment, the cosmos was rapidly expanding, and as a result, these fluctuations, which began at the quantum level, at last covered billions of light years of space. In the meantime, smaller assemblies of matter started organizing themselves into a spiral galaxy. Astronomers can get a glimpse of the universe's earliest stages by analyzing these massive formations. We will be able to produce more detailed copies of Kirshner's maps because of current improvements in telescope and imaging technology, such as the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped out a sector of the southern sky, and in this way, we have looked at some brilliant 300 million galaxies. By contrasting these maps of the miniatures, space scientists can start to understand how our universe into such a shape. 
we are fortunate to have supercomputers that can create detailed simulations of how the multiverse has grown from the initial moments after the Big Bang up to the current cosmos that we see today. Among all these galaxies, only 60 galaxies are found in Biote's void, and all those can be seen in a tube shape flowing through the vacuum. The Biote's void, as we previously noted, is approximately 250 to 330 million light years across and is among one of the largest blank voids that we have seen until now. Andromeda Galaxy is nearest to Earth, and the distance between it is 2.5 million light years far from the Earth which would only cover about 1% of the Biote's void. Approximately 2,000 galaxies in Biote's vacuum can exemplify the enormity of Biote's space if we evaluate each galaxy every 10 million light years, which is basically four times farther than Andromeda. Scientists are currently baffled as to explain how the enormous emptiness between the constellations of Perseus and Taurus may have arisen. According to astronomer Greg Alderding, if the Milky Way had been at the center of the Biote's void, we would not have known there were other galaxies. There are many such empty spaces in the galaxy, similar to the Great Nothing or Biote's void. There will always be a range of solutions for all cosmic secrets, and these gaps undoubtedly have their share, even though they may not be able to verify them. Among the craziest is the hypothesis that an advanced extraterrestrial civilization may have constructed power-harvesting Dyson spheres around a large number of stars, which blocks their light. However, you may already know this. Biote's void has been confused with Bernard 68. The images of Bernard 68, a dark nebula that prevents light from passing through, have frequently been linked to the Biote's void. However, Photos of Bernard 68 are much denser than those observed of the Biote's void because the nebula is much closer, has fewer stars in front of it, and has a physical mass that prevents light from passing through. The European Southern Observatory team has published two pages describing their examination of black globules and Bernard 68 specifically. According to the postdoctoral researcher at the Institute for Theory and Computation at the Center for Astrophysics, Shmuel Bieli, we have two possibilities. If his information is accurate, he claims that the presence of this empty space proves that when a star dies, its supernova produces a chain of events that may ultimately result in the birth of new stars, or one supernova went off at the core of this balloon and outburst the gas, forming Perseus Taurus supershell, or it was produced over millions of years by a succession of supernovae. The enormous bubble was discovered after researchers examined 3D maps of molecular clouds and space produced using information from the Gaia Space Telescope operated by the European Space Agency. The 3D maps, according to postdoctoral researcher Catherine Zucker, are providing astronomers with a pristine outlook on the formation of the universe. She explained that although we have been able to observe these clouds for a long time now, their true shape, depth, and thickness was never known. We also didn't know how far away they were. But now that we know where they are, with just 1% uncertainty, we can clearly see the distance between them. She continued, There are a number of theories for how these molecular gas clouds eventually give birth to new star systems, and astronomers have tested these theoretical ideas using simulations in the past. However, this marks the first time we can compare ideas to observation, and assess which hypotheses are most effective using actual, non-simulated three-dimensional images. With these non-simulated three-dimensional views, hopefully we will get some firm answers. Do tell us your views in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.